Hey there, folks. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel and wishing a very good morning from Dhaka. It's almost uh, 6 a.m., 5.45. I'm doing a couple of videos. One is done. This is the second episode. This is going to be a list, your favorite type of content. Uh, but I really I would like to say a few things before, like declaration before I start the video. One thing is I know winter is gone. But this is like not really great uh, time to post this. But, you know, what you're going to do, you're not going to be like waiting at one whole year right you do wear oath but today we'll be focusing strictly on designer uh houses and designer oath okay not niche and also some of the other fragrances may include like say from afnan or uh, armaf you know rasasi they have also oud, but those are middle eastern considered to be niche fragrances okay so if you do not see niche indie or middle eastern fragrances your favorite perfume perhaps you know like manseras are not here montas not here so you uh, do not get disappointed, please. Okay, uh, understand this is designer. Okay, so these all fall under designer. And <clears throat> uh, one other thing I finish uh, before I start is uh, there are many more. I had few more. I sold them off. You know, maybe I don't have it. So I don't have everything absolutely. Okay, so keep that in mind. So do let others know what are your favorites from these or from what you have. And maybe if I haven't reviewed, I'll check it out. So let's start. So no honorable mention. Some of these are discontinued, by the way, but I will put them here anyway, according to my liking. Uh, number 15, I'll go with Salvatore Ferragamo Oud, okay, uh, or Salvatore Ferragamo Purom Oud. I forgot exact name. So this one is uh, from that Purom line, Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, I think uh, Purom, they have Subtil or Subtil. I don't know. There is another one, blue bottle from this, that line. And I bought this particular fragrance uh, because of the hype that Max Forty sort of created. And he did say it smells, I don't remember, was it Epic Man or Interlude Man, one of those Amouage fragrances. Um, uh, honestly speaking, I don't really see that much of resemblance, but on its own, it's a spicy, woody kind of like a fragrance, which is very nice for cold weather, very decent longevity, and price point is very, very good. So this is a very good a fragrance if you're looking to start your game and most of these don't really have any real oud okay <laughs> is the oud accord and mostly are woody spicy right so uh, real oud is very different experience if you really want to explore go to a oud shop and see the wood chips you know or smell the incense they burn or the real oud oil those are going to be very very different experience but these are something to start with maybe to give, get you interest you know we go through different phases in life Oud could be the ultimate you know in the fragrance game but i think this is a really nice perfume for the money and i think this is very wearable uh, for the office this one suits perfectly so that one is the first one salvatore ferragamo Oud or purom Oud. number 14 i'm going to go with the fragrance very sadly this is discontinued and very hard to find i maybe have now 20 ml left this is ch man insignia my bottle took some beating you can see over the years um this was one of those limited time releases and they re do release a lot of these ch man flankers some of them are miss many of them are miss and some of them are hit this one is a hit this one has that oath in there the golden emblem or embellishment whatever the thing you say the gold gold represents oud like it's more precious than gold right this fragrance is so amazing so amazing nobody talks about it and i actually think this was one of the best you know oud ever made in designer history and these are more of their higher end line so you have to spend more than 100 dollars to buy this but it's okay you know there's oud uh, attachment name attached to it it's worth it okay so ch man insignia it's a uh, low down in the order because it's very hard to find okay so this is the number 14 okay so let's see what we have next okay the next one was uh, one of my most favorite oud uh, like mixed with blackberries you know berries if you do love a uh, note of berries something fruity a little bit of a rose but then the third player is oud sort of soft floral fruity oud this one is a must check you know you, there are two from the line one for women and one for men but i think this is pretty uh, pretty uh, unisex gucci guilty oud okay i have a couple of guccis here uh, there are three guccis that i own they have oud accord but i picked only two this one uh, more and more i worried i saw one thing it kind of has a side of uh, oud satin mood you know if you like that you like this i'm not saying this is a clone of that but it's pretty much in the same family very fruity very sweet very wearable this one definitely in my list uh 15 14 13 yeah number 13 number 12 i'm gonna go with the fragrance which started my oud journey you know this is the first and the most affordable in this list I don't know how they do this the quality is unbelievable from this house and i always have respect one man show oud edition by jack bogart i understand some of you will say synthetic 
headache inducing leather animal like yeah i understand but show me another fragrance from other house gives you a wood fragrance at this price point this one when i bought it it was darn cheap it was under 15 dollars now it's more about 25 but get this if you really want to start your game and you just want like in a cold weather really beast mode almost 24 hours longevity there you go pure respect i say thank you mr jack boger one man show other edition definitely uh, for me very special next one i think there's a new version out of it this is officially discontinued but uh i adored this this is from house of st dupont uh, oud et santal okay oud et santal okay so now these dark bottles are gone you will see mostly the golden bottles which also i believe are gonna go uh perhaps this is called now oud et and not et oud and santal okay so uh, you can see from the name oud and santal oud so this was my god when i saw this line oud et rose oud et santal these two were phenomenal i do have uh love for oud and rose that one is great but i believe the original dark bottles they were the ultimate okay absolutely sorry guys you know we do have uh, this power failure thing happening in bangladesh but i am going to be determined i'm going to be continuing this video even if it goes away again uh, basically it's running on generator now the power so one big light is gone but i'll continue this hopefully you can still see uh, this is the downside of living here once in a while we do face this in winter time colder weather time power failure anyway so what i was saying <clears throat> this fragrance you know wood at sandal it's similar to one uh, fragrance which is very popular which is called black afghano but this is better than black afghano by all means in terms of pricing great fragrance if you love oud very rugged masculine uh, smoky dark perfume let's hit top 10 and i'm really sorry man uh, you know i i can wait basically one hour before the power comes but if it you know doesn't happen so i don't want to start the video again i am in a groove <laughs> so next one is gonna be <clears throat> dolce and gabbana the one royal knight okay my juice level it's around about 20 mil or something like that left this is the special edition this was superb hyped superb superb hype when it came out first okay like uh, every reviewer they were gaga about it so this one got as much love as dior fahrenheit uh, like uh dior fahrenheit absolute or dior on perfume and it's actually like really treasured by many reviewers it has a date sort of a ambery sort of touch to the original dna and it's longer lasting than the <clears throat> the one dna okay i had the mysterious night which is a saffron rose mix which also has wood but i cannot wear that for some reason it gets me headache this one is a sweetheart dolce and gabbana the one royal night prices are skyrocketing on that one now very good wood fragrance next one one of my favorites i have to show this philip playing no limits so the big daddy of that is right there the skull version i do not show that because that's ridiculously expensive 350 bucks for nothing why no i am a collector i got it because of the bottle but this is the same exact fragrance with a little bit less, less potency than that that one is a 24 hour fragrance this one is a modern rugged spicy food smoky you know like a playful fragrance i just love it this is such a manly man perfume just love the bottle as well definitely if you like to have something that has name attached to it as oud try this one out this one is pretty cool philip play no limits then next one uh this is the bottle that made me do this video i actually had it before but i sold it off i don't know why but nowadays now it's actually over 120 dollars going on right now i bought this for the first time it was 55 okay now almost more than double okay this is john verbeto's oud okay take a look at the bottle you can see they made it try to make it look very premium and this is a premium presentation except the outer case is plastic which is a cheap feeling so it's not very heavy but the box is very nice so this is not really extraordinary fragrance for me but it's a standard oud smelling spicy masculine sweet playful kind of a fragrance if you like oud wood type of perfumes you like this and it's definitely a collector's item a very beautiful bottle to john Barbados oud <clears throat> next one another golden bottle this is plenty nice this one gets comparison to oud wood by tom ford this is called daniel icon absolute i think that's the name <clears throat> there are a few other ones icon uh, elite icon uh, you know original icon then the icon racing few of the other ones but this is really underrated the newer bottles are more shiny than the older ones this is very beautiful this is kind of fragrance people don't talk about because it's a daniel perfume the quality it's so so good you know the value and the price point it's so much better than tom ford tom ford will give you a nice composition but they also ask for a kidney this one they don't don't all right and these bottles are very heavy check it out if you love uh spicy woody fragrance <coughs> sorry that's daniel desire uh 
Oh, what did I say? Absolute, yes. So now I have a uh, number uh, six, then we hit top five. Number six is a fragrance I just absolutely love. Always uh, Boss Bottle Oud. They have a few from this line. I think Boss Bottle Oud Saffron and then the green one. I forgot the name. So those two are very, very expensive compared to this. This is also like $75 now. Okay. But the beautiful spiced cinnamon apple and the spice and the oud. They say they use real oud, but I don't think so. But that if you love Burberry's London, if you like Christmas, this is a Christmassy perfume. Beautiful apple accord. And this is one of the best uh, boss ever released. Okay, boss bottle, oud. Check it out. Number five is a fragrance. I actually would say many people would uh, include from this house, Shopper's Oud Malaki, right? I like that, but I have something better than that. Shoppers, Black Incense Malaki. I got this, and this is a bit more upscale, a little bit more expensive compared to the rest of the line. This is a line. If you love oud, but if you like the wearability of the fragrance or something like, you know, you really want to enjoy sandalwood, but you, you find most of these fragrances are too smoky, this is going to be a solution for you. The dry down is so wearable. Such a beautiful, long-lasting winter perfume. And the oud in this I absolutely enjoy. But Shoppers, uh, Black Incense Malaki is mostly on the incense focus but also got oud in there beautiful perfume next one if you love that st dupont uh, and if you like black afghano this is the best alternative to black afghano gucci intense oud yes uh, this perfume is now super expensive super rare and uh, i don't think it's worth it at that price point about 200 dollars but again nonetheless a beautiful bottle beautiful uh, like presentation and it's really wearable too uh, I get good performance from it in winter. Uh, summertime is just average, but great fragrance quality wise, very good quality. Gucci Intense Oud. Let me show you number three. <clears throat> then I hit number two and number one. Number three is this one M7 Oud Absolo. Sadly, I don't have uh, YSL M7. And these are the next generation. I do have the other bottle as well, which came after the dark bottle. This is the exact same fragrance, but the dark one lasts two hours more. So YSL M7 with Absolute replaced sort of like M7, but it's not as good as M7. But this is such classy fragrance. The opening is beautiful, playful. Got this mandarin orange-like opening. It's a juicy opening, and it's not really like a skanky wood. Very classy gentleman wood. Check it out. This is called M7 with Absolute by YSL. Number two, uh, if I may say this uh there are two okay let me remove one to create space okay so this is kind of like a tie i love them both i could not leave one over the other first one is armani stronger with you oud this is one of their best flankers okay and i will tell you why and the other one definitely is versace with noir these two are jointly at number two <clears throat> they don't have any connection by the way versace with noir is a spicy woody perfume this is a sweeter fruity oud uh, which armani gives with original stronger with you dna this is a good perfume. This is a great perfume, but this line, now they're becoming very greedy, okay? I saw them releasing Amber and now the tobacco, which I want so badly. You know, I have done the rest of them, right? They absolutely intensely. This one, the other one is what? The leather. But their price point is so crazy. They're Middle Eastern exclusive, but they're asking for 150 bucks. Okay, that is ridiculous. I'm so sorry, but at that price point, you can get niche perfumes, okay? But uh, the smell and the performance is very good. And Versace with Noir, get it now. It's now hundred something dollars and it's only going to go up and going to get discontinued soon. Just like this. Uh, I think you should get Boss Bottle and Oud Noir. As a collector, you should keep them. Okay. So these two are number two. Now, number one, uh, many of you will not agree. This is the greatest of all time. If you ask about performance, quality, presentation, uh, the people, when they don't talk about it, I feel very agitated and I feel depressed where people say, a uh, lot of other fragrance names, Dior and Parfum, greatest of all time. I understand, no problem. This thing literally better than Dior and Parfum in terms of quality, performance. Um, like the, the the smell is so rich. This is so rare to find now. But if they ask for $200, pay it and get it. And you'll see why I'm saying so. One million, absolutely. Gold by Paco Rabanne, right? Um, some of you will be like... <coughs> Bro, it's Paco Rabanne. It's number one. Uh, maybe why didn't you put one of these? These are better than this. No. One million may have haters. I understand. But if you um, ever smell this, then you'll see like once you put it on your skin, it will never leave your skin. It's literally like perfume concentration. It is liquid gold, kind of like the bottle is. You cannot see the juice level inside, okay? It's painted gold. Very 
nice presentation really nice Ooh, the court very sweet with the one million this is the boss in the town this is the greatest of uh, the Oud collection uh, if you ask me dear Fahrenheit absolute yes I have that great fragrance the Fahrenheit uh, Le Parfum good but not Oud there more boozy and then dear home perfume okay not bad but too unwearable for me so uh, even if I find it I have it like in my collection but I would not put it ahead of this I will not put anything designer ahead of this because this is my love okay so there you go 15 Oud fragrances plus one um, so 16 fragrances you can try them out and do suggest to me which ones i'm missing i need to try if i don't have it i'll try have a nice day thanks for watching and sorry for this light condition but i was in a flow so i want to finish the video uh, do apologize for the uh, mishap take care see you soon bye, -bye.